Hello, welcome back to my podcast, The AJ Kalos Show. Hope you guys are doing very, very well. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, today I wanted to talk about anxiety. My experience with anxiety is very limited. Um, I'm not a big anxiety guy. And by that, I don't mean like it's a like a hobby or a sport. Like, I'm, in, I'm not really into baseball, but man, do I just love anxiety. No, not what I mean. Recently, I downloaded uh, Thomas Aquinas' Summa Theologia, just a PDF of it online. And I thought to myself, hey, during this quarantine time, I might go try and read some church fathers and see what they had to say about some stuff. And I was like, oh, I've never read any Aquinas. I might, might try and read him. You know, thinking it might be like, a thousand pages, like, because I've, I've heard that the Summa Theologia is a big book, and I was like, man, maybe I'll be able to get through that, and that'll, that'll sound really impressive, like, wow, you read all of that? Well, it's not a thousand, it's seven thousand pages, <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put that on hold, or maybe tackle it in bits and parts, and, um, when I was doing that, I came across you know, some of the things that St. Thomas had to say about sorrow, anxiety, and how to overcome anxiety, and while I haven't read all of the Summa Theologiae, in fact, this part comes at the very, very, you know, m much later into the, the Summa Theologiae, but I want to talk about sorrow specifically. Uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, back, you know, in the, what is it, like the uh, 15th century, he talks about four different kinds of sorrows, and I want, to, I want to pull them up. The first one is anxiety. It is a overstimulation internally. It's about your own problems, and there's an overstimulation of emotional stimuli and feeling. And that's the first kind of sorrow that he describes. The second kind of sorrow is a word that I was less familiar with called tor torpor, torpor um, which means kind of like a slothfulness. It's more associated with kind of a depressive kind of sorrow. So it's very slow. It's very, um, you know, melancholic. It's very, uh, it's more traditional sadness. And then there are two other kinds of sorrows that have to do with our reactions to other people. The, the first one is pity, and it's a, um, a, react, a sad reaction to other people's misery. And then there is envy, which is a sad reaction to other people's victories. So these are four different kinds of sorrows that St. Thomas Aquinas uh, lays out in the Summa Theologia. And he articulates them very eloquently and talks about them in, in great length. I didn't end up reading all of it, but I did read all of how he encourages people to overcome those sorrows. So today I want to talk about the five ways in which St. Thomas Aquinas encourages people to overcome sorrows. The first way to overcome sorrow, any of those kind, anxiety, duh, depression, pity, and envy, the first way to overcome sorrow, according to St. Thomas Aquinas, is to give in to some sort of pleasure. Now, typically people want to go, in terms of religious sense, oh, pleasure is not necessarily a good thing, but St. Thomas Aquinas l lays out what pleasure is, what kind of good pleasure is, what bad pleasure is, and he basically encourages people, you know, the first thing to do is have something good. Cup of coffee, glass of wine, box of chocolate, just do something good. That'll, that'll make you feel better. Uh, and I feel like sometimes there's such a resistance to that, but he says, no, like, it is good to have things that are good and pleasing. He writes this, Just as all repose of the body brings relief to any kind of weariness ensuing from a non-natural cause, so every pleasure brings relief by uh, assouging any kind of sorrow due to any cause, whatever. So if you're feeling a sense of sorrow, have something nice, a box of chocolates. Have it, have it on me and St. Saint, Saint Tommy Aquini. I'm not going to call him that ever again. That's kind of weird. Uh, the second way in which he encourages people to overcome sorrow is by weeping. Just let it out. Cry. Just let, let it all out. He says uh, there's two specific reasons he encourages people to cry. The first is because a hurtful thing hurts yet more if we keep it shut up because the soul is more intent on it. Whereas if it be allowed to escape, the soul's intention is dispersed as it were an, an outward thing so that the inward sorrow is lessened. And he also says, because an action that befits a man according to his actual disposition is always pleasant to him. Allow things to have the natural course. Let it out. If you're feeling sorrow, anxious, uh, depressed, if you're having pity or envy, just cry. That'll, that'll make you feel better to have some sort of catharsis and just let it out. 
The third way in which that he encourages people to overcome sorrow is by sharing with a friend, and for two reasons, and this is my personal favorite of all of the five ways to overcome sorrow. He says, it is like a weight whereof we strive to unburden ourselves, so that when a man sees others saddened by his own sorrow, it seems as though others were bearing the burden with him, striving, as it were, to lessen its weight. Wherefore, the load of sorrow becomes lighter for him. By being able to share with a friend, we allow these burdens to be shared with other people. And the second and more important reason we should share with a friend is because when a man's friends condole with him, he sees that he is loved by them and that affords him pleasure. So not only are our burdens lifted when we share with a friend, but we are able to recognize that we are people worth having our burdens lifted, which is a really, really cool thing. The fourth way in which St. Thomas Aquinas encourages people to overcome their sorrow is by contemplating the truth. And he says that, that the greatest of all pleasures consists in the contemplation of truth. He goes on to say, the contemplation of truth assuages pain or sorrow in the more so the more perfectly one is a lover of wisdom. And therefore, in the midst of tribulations, men rejoice in the contemplation of divine things and of future happiness. Sometimes when we think about things, we can become even more overwhelmed. But the problem is that when we think about truth as a high concept, what is real, what is within our control, that can subdue anxiety and all of the other kinds of sorrow. But sometimes we get so fixated on specific truths and facts, and we don't think about the truth in its whole, uh, which always allows us to have a more proper perspective and alleviate sorrow. Now, the last way in which St. Thomas Aquinas encourages people to overcome their sorrows is by doing something physically pleasurable, specifically a bath or a nap. He says, by reason of its specific nature is repugnant to the vital movement of the body and consequently whatever restores the bodily nature to its due state of vital movement is opposed to sorrow and assouges it. Since every pleasure assouges sorrow, sorrow is assouged by such like bodily remedies. So if you are feeling sorrowful, Take a nap, rest, or take a bath, and also sleep. Sleep is so wonderful, and it's so cool that someone so long ago was like, hey, yo, you guys need to sleep. Uh, I'm paraphrasing. That's not what he said. I just told you what he said. He said that thing. I said, hey, yo. So those are the five ways in which St. Thomas Aquinas encourages people to overcome sorrow, to have something pleasurable, to just let it out and cry, to share with a friend, to think about the truth, and to take a bath and nap. So I hope that was entertaining for you at the least, but beneficial for you at the most. I really hope that during this time, you're able to do all five of those things, that you're able to have some nice chocolate, that you're able to do something nice for your body, that you're able to cry, let things out, that you're able to share with friends and recognize that you are someone worth having his or her burdens lifted, that you are able to think about the divine truths of God and that you are able to take a nap. So I love you guys. Peace, God bless, and I will catch you all in the next one.